Hey, it's Kooky Cats Productions, and we're outside of the Fort Tree City Gym, the sixth gym of Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire version. It's a flying type gym, so it may be a bit of a challenge for my party, but I do have Electrode, a new addition, plus Marshstomp evolved into Swampert, and we have Kecleon in here. I used quite a few TMs and HMs on these guys to boost them up for the battle. I'm going to put Kecleon out first because I used the TM for Rock Tomb on him which should be pretty effective on these flying type Pokemon. Actually, it's super effective. The puzzles in this gym are pretty interesting. Kinda hard at times, but... If you're not used to them, of course. I've done this gym a bunch of times. <laughs> Alright, here's the gym leader. And here come the bird Pokemon. The gym leader has a Skymaray and Altaria, a, um, a Pelipper, and I believe also Swellow. Kecleon should be really good against a Swellow just because of Rock Tomb, because Swellow's only flying type, and Rock Tomb, Rock type move, is super effective against flying types. Also, Kecleon's color change will make the flying type moves not as effective on him. Plus, it decreases the speed of Swellow, so that's really helpful. Alright, Kecleon's getting kind of hurt, but his Rock Tomb should be effective. That should be the kill. Or not. Alright, come on, let's go for one more hit. Ooh. Hyper Potion. Boy, isn't that annoying. Looks like we're gonna have to heal Kecleon. I don't have any revives, so I won't be bringing him back to life. Otherwise, I wouldn't care, and I'd go for that last shot. Alright, I got the Soda Pump, which restores 60 HP. That should be enough. 68 HP. Quick attack. Ooh, back to normal type. Alright, let's go with Psy Beam as a psychic attack. Alright, here comes Pelipper, so we're going to switch to Electrode. His electric attacks will be super effective against the flying and the water type, so that'll make it double effective, basically. We could use Thunderbolt, Shockwave, Spark, and then Sonic Boom's normal type, so I won't be using that. Let's go with the Thunderbolt first, probably the most powerful of the moves. And he would use Protect. Alright, now we're going to use Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt's a good move. It can cause Paralyzing. Alright, Electrode got a bunch of experience. Yay. Here comes Altaria. I'm going to leave Electrode out. I'll use like one Thunderbolt and then I'll probably pull him out. One of the great things about Electrode and most other electric type Pokemon is their speed. Also, Altaria just used Dragon Dance which raises its attack and its speed. Sure, it'll make them a bit faster, but whatever. And also, there's Earthquake. That's the only problem because super effective against him. Alright, let's switch to our Swamper. He doesn't have any moves that should be particularly effective, but... Especially Mudshot. It won't affect him at all because it's ground type move. So we're going to use Surf, which is an HM that we've gotten earlier in the game. Earthquake won't be too effective against him.
Ooh, I was hoping Surf would do a bit more damage. I'll just keep using it. It probably will... He'll either die by wearing down Altaria a lot, or get lucky and kill it. Hoping for the second one of those. Aerial Ace, flying type move, plus it's always guaranteed to hit. So, I really recommend using it on most flying type Pokemon. Even though it's not the most powerful move, always make it a hit, so not too bad. And they would keep using the Hyper Potion. If they keep using Dragon Dance like this, it'll give me enough openings, I'll be able to blow through them. But if they use it enough times, then I won't even be able to make a hit. And Earthquake again. Looks like I'm going to have to heal up Swampert a lot. Alright, let's see. I could use the Soda Pop, but I don't feel like it, because Super Potions, eh, that's less than the Soda Pop. But, Hyper Potion. That'll fully restore his health. Altaria used Dragon Breath, a Dragon-type move. Really, not the most powerful Dragon-type moves. Kind of one of the weakest, really. But, it's only level 33, so it wouldn't really have much more powerful moves. Alright, I'm going to use another Soda Pop now. Just because I don't want him getting knocked out. Not now, anyway. Hopefully they'll use Dragon Dance so all that health that was healed will stay there. Nope, Earthquake. That is really annoying. And Earthquake again. Alright, Altaria is down. Gained a bunch of experience. And they're about to use Skymaray. I'm gonna leave out Marsh Stomp. I'll just heal him first. Floor store, HP and status problems. I don't really want to use that. Better off just using Hyper Potion. Okay, Aerial Ace, not that effective. Use Surf. Not the most effective move, but it does do a lot of damage on him. And there you have it, there's our win against the 6th gym, and now we'll be able to use the HM for fly. So we'll be able to fly to any town that we've already been to in an instant, with a flying Pokemon, of course. Got the feather badge. Obtained TM40, which I believe is Aerial Ace. Yep, Aerial Ace. Alright, I'll see you guys again next time with the next part of Let's Play Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire version.